again. Hey, you're up. All right, welcome to my presentation about fixing bleachers. This is my final for English 10B. So my action plan, all the goals of my action plan are to get notes and become, to have more students come to the games and provide safety for everyone at the game and provide comfort for the spectators at the game. And so uh, think fair share, do you guys, uh, can you guys talk in how we can fix the bleachers? Like any ideas how to fix the bleachers? Can you guys talk to each other for that? Where, what is the actual big problem with them? Uh, so a lot of them have been broken in the past year. We've uh -huh. broken about two or three. And then a lot of people have complained about it because it has, they left the broken parts for about two months. Oh. And then we just decided to take them out instead of replacing okay. them. Well, I was thinking, can you file the metal down? Yeah. I don't, have you guys been to games? No. <laughs> I've never, I've, I've been to football games and it wasn't an issue. Have you been to games? Well, I'm just wondering if you could file them down. Like, is it is it like pieces of metal sticking out of them, or like, is there a way to like? I don't know. I remember the old cement ones, and like people complained about those. But I don't think. Hey, we'll take us through. Let's see what you yeah. want to do. All right. <laughs> Thank you guys for doing that. So my first objective is getting more students to the games. So I'd like to send out surveys to the students and to coaches and teachers. That way allowing it so we can have like a wide variety of people's opinions based off these bleachers, based off their experiences on all of it. And then I'd like to interview a coach or a teacher on what they feel about it and some students based off of how they feel about it. And I'd like to get this all done by the 17th of May. That way it allows time for us to be able to get this all done by about summer before the football season fully starts. So that way it won't affect them and it won't affect their games. And then, uh, fancy fingers. How uncomfortable do you guys feel with the bleachers? Four being extremely uncomfortable sitting on them. Uh, three being pretty uncomfortable, like they're not horrible, not the best. Slightly mean, like you don't mind sitting on them for a long period of time. And one just not uncomfortable at all, like you could spend all day Excuse on them. Can you fingers up? No, like, yes. Just like, yeah, just like one, yeah. two, three, four. All right, so oh, we're gonna hold up totally fingers. Off. I yeah. call it fancy fingers, and I teach them fancy fingers. Okay, yeah. that's smart. Just like hold up right. one to uh, four. Okay, yeah. hold on, I gotta process for a second. Okay, yeah, take your time. Yeah, I'm old, so. <laughs> Is this these bleachers or any bleachers? These particular bleachers. Uh, these bleachers. Yeah, okay. sorry about that. Qualified to follow the rest of That's all right. Perfect. Oh, I'm complaining a lot about it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, perfect. Thank you, guys. Okay. All right, objective two, providing comfort for those spectating the games. I plan on providing more comfort for those people who are spectating the games because the games can be very long and they can wear down on your body because it's just kind of longer, especially in the colder games. Uh, so I'd like to find out where to buy chair padding. I actually found on Amazon. You can buy sets of chair padding for bleachers and they're about $28.99 per section of bleachers. You just have to measure out the bleachers, which I would like to do. And I also like to buy the chair padding material and uh, the amount of quantities that we are needed for the bleachers. So give or take of around a few 50 to 60 amount. And then I'd like to hire professionals, which would cost about a hundred-ish dollars to install this. That way they are able, that won't cause any problems for those that are sitting on these paddings. And then uh, I'd like to provide safety for everyone at the games. The plan for my the my plan for providing safety for everyone at the game is to buy the missing amount of bleachers because the bleachers that have broken they have not been replaced they've just been giant missing chunks and I've seen a lot of people get off and not pay attention and fall a little bit every single time even at the games uh, and so I was looking at the amount for those bleachers and to buy the ones that we use which are about aluminum or about. 50 to hundred dollars and I'd like to buy refined uh, steel ones which are about 150 to 200 dollars worth a piece it would cost only about about 300 dollars and then I'd like to hire the same professionals to replace these bleachers that way allowing for us to be able to have more area for everyone to sit and more stabilization for the more active crowds of the kids they just so happen to be right in the active crowds when they broke in the middle of one of the games and then I'd like to do this all again before uh, the football season starts, so in summer. I understand it does take a bit of time to put these bleachers in, but it doesn't take an extremely long
long amount of time to put the bleachers in. Um, and so in conclusion, I plan to fix the bleachers by sending out a survey for all the students and interview the teachers, a teacher and coach, and a student and meeting with the principal and the assistant principal by May 17th and allowing enough time to measure out the bleachers and by suitable seat padding and installation by the start of the new season. Um, and my exit ticket are one of the two types of people I need to survey. Right. Teachers one. Yeah, Gardner, I'm gonna pick on you. What are the two? <coughs> Thanks for that. Uh, teacher, teacher and student. Yep. Teacher and student. Yes, sir. That's perfect. And then I have the end, and these are my sources. Thank you for being here. Good. We got a Q and A. You stay right there. Q and A. Gotcha. All right. So at the end of the presentation, we have to ask questions, poke holes in his plan a little bit. So we have to ask anything we thought was unrealistic or that he has to expand upon so i'm gonna go first yeah what's the timeline again when you want to talk to people i would like to get all the surveys out as soon as possible and be able to get about 20 brighton students before may 17th do you think that's realistic i do think it's realistic i was able to get about 20 to 25 people in a matter of one week to answer my surveys and that was through bare communications with people okay fair enough yeah um where is your funding coming uh, from to buy your the padding and the new bleachers. So they, the amount that we were given is $500. I looked in, it's about $100 to hire professionals for those two in total. And then it would take about 100 to 150 for those two galvanized steel uh, bleachers. And then it'd be about 20 to 30 bucks per like area of those padding. Does the padding stay up all the time? The padding will stay all the time. I had to check that and check the warranty on all of it. Okay, fair enough. Um, anybody else? I was gonna say, where where out here is the area you're talking about? Uh, so right where the student section is, there are like a big chunk of just missing bleachers right there. Oh, okay. Because okay. they, oh, I'm sorry, they broke uh -huh. and then kids pushed them out, and so it fell out. Okay, I need to go check that out. So yeah. what other sports besides just football might use the bleachers because they play in that? Um, like lacrosse would be using it a lot. Our, we do have the flag football every year that we go to, the powder puff games, and track also uses it a big amount of time. Okay. So a lot of sports at Brighton will benefit from it. Okay. Any other questions? 